do rag wisdom here folks and welcome surprisingly enough to Y2K 19.04.17 and you're probably wondering what the hell happened to him my computer crashed Oh, 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 hard drive meltdown. I, I don't know how to compare it, but it was like, I guess you could say it's a digital disaster. And when you have digital disasters, there's a big cleanup afterwards. It came by surprise, and I really wanted to do broadcasts because I know we're going through an awful lot of crap right now friends ladies and gentlemen everybody else this thing made me so crazy this what happened and plus one of my cats got sick too so pancreatitis so between that and this computer situation my entire head got so big that I used my med hat look look how it fits on my head now I mean it's like what the amazing Colossal Man said, this guy that kept growing and growing and growing. He said, I'm not growing to the world. He says, you're shrinking. Well, I guess my head isn't growing. Everybody else's head is shrinking. I'm hoping to come back. And I'm not even guaranteeing that I'm, I'm going to be back tomorrow or the next day because I'm still cleaning up. I'm just doing the best I can. Today, I managed to get the software back onto the uh, computer that I need to make this edit, or to edit and make sure you get this situation, this uh, video. If I sound kind of off today, it's because everything's been off. I'm waiting patiently to get the Mueller report through the Kindle, and I hope well, I know I, I shouldn't hope, but I know it's going to have redactions because we all know that Barr, jail Barr, is working for this creep Trump. We also know that the Democratic Party is trying to fight to get this creep's tax returns while these one by one, these Democratic candidates are releasing theirs. People are driving Bernie Sanders crazy because he's a millionaire. Like, how dare he call himself a socialist if he's a millionaire? But correction, ladies and gentlemen, he's a democratic socialist. And, and another word for a democratic socialist is socio-capitalist. All the people in this country who have no idea what true democratic and good socialism is all about, except through their experiences with Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, and any other government-sponsored help that they can get. Like even these rich bastards get so socialism through all these government bailouts ex and tax cuts and everything else to help these creeps. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, socialism is already here whether people know it or not, but Regarding Bernie Sanders, I don't think there's anything phony about that situation. It's just, oh, what, you think the guy lives on the street? He's, he's penniless? The guy probably owns his own house. When you own your own house, or you own any kind of private property, or you have any kind of commodity, you are a capitalist whether you like it or not. But if you want to share that money, share what you earn, with other people, you know, take a portion of your earnings to help other people live a better life. That is democratic socialism, also known as socio-capitalism. Yeah, I believe you should have a right to your private property, but, but you should not have the right through the absence of regulations to pollute the entire planet and to, and to, in general, abuse us with your coal and oil and other crap that you want to dump on our public lands. Not allowing these great, big,
big giant corporations to do whatever they want. But you're saying, no, you can't do what you want at the public's expense. You have to have regulations to do the humane thing. You can't abuse human beings, animals, our planet. I want to pay my fair share in taxes. I want to help the, my, my, my neighbors, the citizens, this planet. I want to pay my taxes to make sure I'm a millionaire. Okay, I can pay taxes to help other people live a better life. Look what Mr. Deeds did and Mr. Deeds goes to town, the original. Give away his money. But, you know, that's crazy. No one's going to give away all their money. But hey, take a good portion of it. 10, 20 percent, 25 percent. Give it to the people. That is democratic socialism, also known as socio-capitalism. And Bernie Sanders is not a hypocrite. He is a socio-capitalist, as I am. But they're driving him crazy, right? Ladies and gentlemen, friends, I don't care what they have in the Democratic Party. I don't want to see this fascist, totalitarian creep Trump be president again. In fact, I mean, the sooner we could get him out of here, the better, but we know that he's going to have a lot of chances to do a ton of more damage on our, on our lands, on ourselves, on our whole system, on the justice system. We have to hope that Ruth Bader Ginsburg doesn't drop the F dead. I don't pray to any, any deities, but, you know, the wheel is spinning and I hope it comes up good for her all the time. But here it is. Here's what we're, we're dealing with and put that creep back in. I don't care who they have in the Democratic Party right now. The thing we have in the White House puts children into concentration detention camps in cages, rips them away from their families to ruin their lives forever. Destroying our planet undermining all of our constitutional laws. And that's what matters. We have to get that creep out. Otherwise, Putin and all the other authoritarians are going to be in. Our country has to be one of those that leads to make a better world. And with that creep and his traitorous party in office, the Trumpists, we are way behind we're at the a-hole of this planet's cultural civilization and society as long as this hair monster creep is in office. The Democratic Party, as far as I'm concerned, can run a pile of feces for president. As far as I'm concerned, as I've said before, the pile of feces ain't going to lock children up in cages to ruin their lives forever. And the creep that's in now is lower than a pile of feces. So that's why I have the message I have for you folks is I'm going to do the best I can to get back online. And uh, I'm sorry about this situation. I, I can't even guarantee if I'm going to be back tomorrow. I know I have to, to bring everything back. But let's, let's, let's stay on the right track here. Let's get that Mueller report. Let's try to get it unredacted eventually. Let's fight this creep for every step, step of the way. Let's demand that the, that the Democratic Party keep their eye on their ball to get this creep out of our lives. And let's get off this thing about Bernie Sanders. He never, hey, when he said, when he said, when Bernie said he's a Democratic Socialist, to me that says he believes in certain principles of socialism, but at the same time, he has no problem having private property or commodities such as money. And the media blowing it up. I thought the media learned their lesson.